I don't really think it's something I would wear in Germany because it is definitely touristy and it screams I am an American. Hi guys, just wanted to do a short little Wednesday video um, and it is a Germany jacket reveal. So this jacket I thrifted in Germany. I thrifted it in Berlin. I think it was called Vintage Revivals. I'm not 100% sure that could have just been a different like kind of vintage thrift store I went to. But it looks like this and I think the jacket is actually from Denmark. Um, but I wanted to reveal to you guys this project, it's like a small project that I've been working on, but it's basically like getting patches all from Germany and I'm going to try and keep up this whole Germany patches thing until the whole jacket's full. I'm sad that I just thought of the idea now because it would have been a lot cooler um, to have gotten them during my exchange year because I went to, of course, like a bunch of other places in Germany. But it's really cool so far and I really, really love it. I don't really think it's something I would wear in Germany because it is definitely touristy and it screams I am an American, but it's something that I will wear in the United States a lot. So here is the reveal. Dun, 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 dun. It looks like this so far. And here are a bunch of the patches. And there's spot there's one more spot for Nuremberg because I'm going to Nuremberg on this trip. Like down here. Down here, I think. I'll show it to you guys here too. So for people who aren't German, these two are from Descending with Der Maus, which is like a really famous German TV show that I actually watched at my language camp when I did my exchange year. And then of course I've got Munich, um, Austria too. I was in Austria and my host brother actually brought those for me. Um, and then Berlin of course was this trip and Passau and then Berlin. And then these, this is actually from Czechian or um, Czech Republic, I believe. And then this is just kind of like a virus looking patch that I found at Müller. And the Passau ones were so hard to find. Oh my gosh. I went to a bajillion trillion different stores to find those Passau patches. I have this dumb sentence memorized. It was, um, Verkaufen Sie Patches, etwas, das um, man auf eine Jache kleben oder nähen kann. Und then everyone would always say no. They'd be like, no, no one buys those anymore. No, we stopped carrying them. And finally, 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 we found a souvenir shop. Because there's a bajillion souvenir shops in Passau. But it just took so long to find one. And I fa actually found... Okay, wait, I'm going to show you guys again. Because I just love how cute it looks. And it's so Germany. And it's making me so happy to think about wearing it in the US. But this one I found first. And it was only a euro. Because the woman was like, oh, that's trash. Like, I'm going to throw it away. Nobody wants to buy it. I was like, heck yeah, I'll buy it for a euro. And then this was found later. And my friend Annalena, who's in the Byrish video, if you haven't seen that, um, there's a video of me speaking Byrish and her teaching me. She bought this for me. And I don't really know why she bought it for me. She was just being really, really nice. And I wanted to pay her back, but she wouldn't let me. So now I will always remember that. I'm hoping that all of the patches stay on it. If they don't, I'll be so sad. And also I'm a little OCD. And so if one falls off and there's just an elephant sized patch here or like a mouse sized patch here, I will be upset. But hopefully they don't. They are iron on patches, but also I use this special uh, fabric, glue, <laughs> fabric glue that you put on them and then you iron the glue as well. So there's supposed to say for a pretty long time. And honestly, if it's between you and me, um, I'm not going to wash this that much just because I'm afraid of the patches falling off. So maybe hand wash or some little dab, dab washing. I don't know. We'll see how much I wear it and then we'll reassess. I would definitely recommend doing it because it actually has helped me buy fewer souvenirs and things in Germany. Honestly, I don't have much suitcase place suitcase space anyway so i've had to keep it limited but now it's like oh i got a patch in munich instead of buying anything else all i had to buy was this little patch and they're really not expensive they're about like <laughs> these ones from muller were two to three euros but then some of the nicer ones i think like the pasta one was like four or fifty euros so they can be a little bit expensive but it'll definitely be worth it in the long run though so thanks guys so much for watching this little update video. Oh, let me put it on for you guys. So I'm wearing this dress right now. It's probably not gonna match, but. I like how in the front, you can't tell. It's like normal jacket, normal cool jacket. And then, <laughs> you know, 
of like, you can't really tell it. It looks good in any outfit. It's not going to ruin it if you want to take pictures from the front. But then when you turn around, it's like, ooh. Maybe this is too souvenir y for you guys, but let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bleibt gesund. Bis Sonntag, glaube ich. Ja, bis Sonntag. Ich werde noch mal ein Video hochladen. Um, ja, bis dann. Bleibt gesund und tschüss.